Hey everybody, Zill Brothers here once again made another video. This one is about old girl April Mason. April Mason is a dating coach and a matchmaker for females. And what she likes to do is she likes to work with women, particularly black women, and help them in etiquette classes and change their behavior and match them up with men that they would like to be with. But she's getting out of the game. And this is what she said on a post. She says, after 10 plus years of helping women in this area, it's time to move on. I've had dozens of success stories from women who are now married, engaged, or dating high caliber men. My track record speaks for itself. However, the majority that come to me have unrealistic expectations, the selfishness, fake everything, think they should be chosen because they have a vagina and good looks, the entitlement, just mean, not knowing the difference between a woman and a wise woman, and will fight you to be strong, not knowing how to be versus do, thinking being a feminine woman is weak or a pick me, whatever that is, placing, placing the blame and not taking responsibility or accountability for the choices they made in men being disagreeable, defensive, argumentative about everything, always finding something to nitpick about, looking for perfection. If you mention anything about doing something kind for the man they chose, it's what is he going to do for me? And the list goes on. Now, she later goes on to say some stuff about men. But when I look at these things, it brings um, to mind some points that I've been making. And I've been talking a lot with men, especially spiritual men. And there's a lot, big problem in our society with women. And I know that people look at men and men are bad. Don't get me wrong. There are some bad men and men in general are not at the standard that I would like them to be at. I think that men should be a certain level of toughness and a certain level of manliness and masculinity and leadership and being able to accomplish something and have a certain amount of achievements and being able to fight and defend themselves. So when I look at the vast majority of men out there, I see people who need a lot of help. But I look with our women and I'm seeing it a little bit worse. And the reason that it's a little bit worse for the women is because we have a society now that has turned itself where criticizing women is taboo. I'll put it to you this way. I was on a job where um, there was a lady there and she would say some of the most vulgar stuff and the men would even blush when she they heard it. And she was the most vulgar one and nobody would say anything to her because they didn't know how to address her because she was a lady who was saying these things. The boss wouldn't say anything. And so I'll talk to the boss and I'll be like, hey man, if I said that, wouldn't you have a problem with that? Yeah. Well, how come you don't say anything to her? And he didn't want to say it. But the truth of the matter is he did not want to address a woman on anything like that. And when you look at standards on the job or standards in society or even st standards in a marriage, I've long been told, people have always told me, don't tell your wife that she's wrong. Always say you're sorry. Now, I've never followed that because I've always thought that was some simp type thinking and some weak man thinking. I never have done that. But a lot of people advise it. And the reason they advise it, because they really thought it was true. And the idea that you as a man should never treat yourself as a woman's equal, that you will sit there in a relationship and that you would have to apologize for things that you didn't think you did wrong just to make the peace. Those are the kind of ideas that scared me away from marriage for a bit and kept me away from relationships for a bit. Now I'm happily married because I'm with a woman who doesn't believe those things. But I see a lot of people who have these ideas. And in the past, I have talked to some women about men. And I said, hey, what do you want in a man? And I never was as deep in it with somebody like Kevin Samuels. But when I asked him, I immediately recognized that the things that they were asking for was not realistic and didn't match the person they were. Because a lot of women will put a list together of what kind of man they want. But the problem is when they put that list together, that man is so perfect. You got to ask, who does he want back? And it is rarely the woman that have compiled that list. And I'm not saying that to be rude, but I'm simply saying this, that the average woman does not seem to have any respect for the average man. The average woman wants this really high caliber male that is hard to attain. And they look at that man as if he should be every man. And I just have this, uh, this, this fleeting feeling that a lot of women are passing on relationships and men that they would be perfectly happy with. 
But because other people have called it settling, they don't want to lower their unrealistic expectations. And they keep holding out, keep holding out, keep holding out. Until finally the guy with the six pack and the six figure income and the six feet tall doesn't come around. And then they end up being bitter at men. And here's another problem with it is that the dating market, right? And I'll put it to you this way. One of the problems that I've had with some aspects of the manosphere is that they will ask women what they want. And what I'm going to say may seem a little bit offensive, but it's just simply true. A lot of times when you talk to ladies, they will talk about what they feel. They will not talk about facts and things. Some women will, but for the vast majority of them, when they describe a man, they're getting in their feelings. They're not describing somebody who is actually real. And in their heart, they know it. And that's why a lot of men have been able to talk women to being with them that later on the women will say they didn't match anything that was on my list. I just got talked into it. Whether they got talked into a relationship or talked into having a physical fling with the guy, lots of women can get talked into stuff because ultimately they truly don't know what they want. Many of them don't until they actually experience it. And sometimes by then it's too late. And what dating has done is it has empowered people mainly women, to make decisions that oftentimes they're not comfortable making because a lot of women, when they make decisions, they try to make safe decisions. But the problem with relationships is that relationships are hardly ever safe. When you date a guy, you don't know what kind of guy he's going to be. And so a lot of women do one of two things. They either presume to protect themselves that all men are the bad guys. Right. So they think every guy is trying to slip a pill in a drink. Every guy is trying to take them home. Every guy is trying to do X, Y, Z, you name it, whatever negative thing it is. They believe that most guys are like that. But then on the other hand, there are other women who think the opposite. Right. They think that they're going to get this guy who is just absolutely perfect and they're going to find him and everybody else who tries to come by. They're just garbage. And so you have these two mindsets that are going on in a lot of different women. And then there's this, spit, there's this thin line of women who are realistic and they love their man who, let's be perfectly honest, is a normal dude. And they're very happy. And a lot of these other women who go to bachelorette parties with them and say, hi, man, they look and they envy their relationship, but they won't do what they did. And so when I look at our society, I'm seeing a problem, yes, with the men, but a bigger problem with the women, mainly because there is no system by which we hold women accountable. And I'll say it this way, too. The reason that most women are not held accountable is because most ladies don't hold women accountable. And that's, I would say this, that is not also in you guys' nature often to hold each other accountable. You like to make each other feel good because it makes you feel good to make somebody else feel good. And what I mean by that is if somebody else is fat, you don't say they fat. I have never had a woman try to hook me up with her friend who didn't think her friend was better looking than she really was. And the reason for that is because when you like your friend, you think they look good. Your feelings affect your ability to evaluate your friend. On the other hand, lots of women are not under the authority of male leadership. And so because of that, there are two things. Number one is they don't know how to identify good male leadership, right? They chafe under male leadership. Or the second thing, they don't have guidance to help them so that when they're making a decision, somebody else is helping them to stay level headed when they do. Almost all the women that I've seen that made good relationship decisions and are good wives, they had good fathers or good brothers or good grandfathers. And all the women that I see who don't, they don't tend to trust their fathers. So I say all this to say that April Mason, she said something that kind of made me, um, made me really think. And the reason that I say it too is because <laughs> as I was looking for the April Mason quote, <laughs> I got it from this site and the site that it was a it was a woman's site and the, the the ladies was talking about it and this is how they prefaced the april mason post this is what they said pick me i'm gonna just blur it out okay pick, pick me a heifer her dick riding advice is working for everyone except herself i would love to hear what she considers unrealistic as far as these women's standards and expectations 
she this is the exactly the kind of women that april mason was talking about and here they are on a website and you could find this comment i know you could take the words that i just said because i said quote the other than just saying a instead of the a word take what i said and you could find this post it's crazy it is crazy to look at the standards and the things some of these women will say so look at it talk about it let's discuss it